Have you ever experienced reading fake news? What? A famous artist passed away? Wait. It's a fake news! Were you ever misinformed? Yay! No classes for tomorrow! Wait. Only for NCR? Or did you ever use your phone to capture data you needed? Okay class, copy your assignments now. Ma'am, may I take a photo instead? Please? Welcome Olympians, and today we are diving into sources of information. and the like in everyday life. Where do you usually get your information? There are various sources of information that you may use in finding significant details and data that can be used in your daily life. Sources of information may be classified as to primary, secondary, and tertiary sources. Sources of information are classified as primary if they are authentic and have not been subjected to evaluation or assessment. These report discoveries, sharing of information, and first-hand accounts. These are information written at a certain time or period of research. Definition of primary sources vary depending on the context and or discipline. Examples of these include speeches, video recordings, photographs, government records, communication, newspaper or magazine portraying information from eyewitnesses. Secondary sources provide information, discussion, and or interpretation of the evidence. These are usually evaluations of primary sources. These are also information written by authors who do not personally witness the event or action. Note that definition of secondary sources varies depending on the context and or disciplines. Examples of secondary sources are commentaries, critics, Evaluations including journals and magazines, not portraying information from eyewitnesses. Tertiary sources serve as collection of primary and secondary sources. Examples of these tertiary sources include bibliographies, directories, dictionary, almanac, abstracts, indexes, encyclopedias, and databases. In using the information gathered, whether they are primary, secondary, or tertiary sources, take note of these six characteristics that information should have. First is accuracy. Information should be reliable, useful, free from flaws, and of high quality. Second, completeness. Information should provide all needed details. It should be able to answer the WH questions like what, who, when, where, why, and how. Third, timeliness. Information should be up-to-date. Fourth, consistency. Information should be consistent for it to be considered accurate and useful. Fifth, Relevant. 
information should suit the demand, needs, and interests of the readers. And lastly, uniqueness. Information should be distinct. Can you identify the following as to which information they belong to? There you have it. Now, you have a better idea about sources of information. Remember that information should have accuracy, completeness, timeliness, consistency, it must be relevant, and must have uniqueness. This has been Ella, your Olympian Guide. See you next time as we discuss another lesson in the wonderful world of mythology, grammar, or anything and everything about English and literature. Bye!